Good evening, everyone. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Coverage you can count on begins with an organization telling the stories of veterans and their lives through art. Nikita Dennis is live in the Satellite News Center now with this story. Bullets and Band-Aids is more than a nonprofit. It's a movement that's creating a safe place for veterans while enabling healing through art. I think this is proof not only that we allow our veterans a platform to speak their truth, but that that truth is heard. Bullets and Band-Aids showcases artwork of veterans through paintings and even turning their stories into books. We reach out to specific veterans, writers and artists so that we can make sure to run the gamut of uh, human experience and uh, uh, maintain equity. Each piece of art tells a story of a veteran who has served their country. Marjorie Hua is a veteran and painter. This will be her first time participating in the art show. So he gave me one that was virtually like a biography of the veteran. And so um, I interpreted all the little pieces of his bio and put them together. I didn't want to do a figurative portrait, so it's a, a symbolic portrait. Oob says as a veteran himself who has experienced a lot while serving. He wants bullets and band-aids to be therapeutic for others. And once I realized not only that I felt healing from having written it down, there was another level of healing that happened once I had recognized that it had been heard. And uh, so after that, I thought, why not bring this to everyone? The art show is taking place again tomorrow at Sacred Heart Cultural Center from 5 p.m. until 9. Live in the Satellite News Center, Nikita Dennis, WJBF News Channel 6.